With the goal of achieving zero emissions in aviation by 2050, the European Commission has launched a number of programmes. One, Connecting Europe Days, is hosted by all transport sectors here in Lyon, France. The zero net emission at world level is 2050 for aviation within the framework of the Paris Agreements. We on the perimeter of the airport will wait for it in 2026. The aviation industry is currently responsible for a large share of emissions. This has heightened the need for more efficient engines and cleaner fuels are imperative. But these will have to meet precise requirements, as the European Commissioner for Transport explains. They have to be sustainable. They are one of alternative things for uh, more sustainable for uh, transport modes. What is important for us is to make sure that uh, various sectors are not cannibalizing each other on uh, the same type of uh, fuels. So we are supporting uh, the increase of uh, volumes and we are trying to promote um, the technologies which are uh, more, let's say, appropriate for decarbonizing one mode or another. The challenge, taken up by energy giants, aims to increase the share of biofuel with the parallel reduction of pollutant emissions. This is already an option available through the so-called BAF combustible, a mix of kerosene and propellants of biological origin. Those in the business are hopeful they will see results. If you use 100% of this biocomponent, assuming that it is even possible today, the emissions would be up to 90% lower than if you used an equivalent fossil fuel. Aspirations do not end there. The dream is to fly planes using hydrogen as soon as possible, with aircraft engineers already on the case.